In this video, I'm going to show you my morning routine. It's a pretty realistic look at a day in my life, and it's a routine that helps me stay focused and fulfilled as I juggle creative projects, personal projects, and a day job. This isn't one of those 5 a.m. hustle culture, green juice kind of morning routines. Instead, this is one that's more rooted in reality and is an attempt at me listening to my body and what it needs when it first wakes up so that I can have the best day possible. If you're trying to build a morning routine for yourself that can help you do your best, most fulfilling work, I hope that you find this video helpful. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I'm a creator and singer and songwriter living in Los Angeles. On this channel, I document my creative journey and share my life here in LA. My day usually starts around 6.30 in the morning when I first wake up. I'd love to tell you that this is the time that I wake up every day without an alarm, but it isn't. I naturally wake up around 7, 7.15, but since the sun has been setting so early here in LA, around 4, 4.30 every evening, I've been trying to get a little bit of extra daylight in the day by getting up a little earlier than normal. There's nothing too fancy about my wake-up routine. I literally roll out of bed, I try not to check my phone, and then I wander out into the kitchen. I don't think you have to get started at the crack of dawn to have a great day, but for me, I'm usually the most productive in the morning, so I like to get up before I have to go to work so that I've got some time to write songs or work on videos before the day really kicks in. Next, the coffee routine that I have takes a little bit of time, not because it needs to, but because I enjoy the ritual of it. The coffee takes some time to brew and prep, so I usually get started on that the first thing when I wake up and make it to the kitchen. I get the water boiling and the French press ready. I think it tastes a little bit better than like a coffee machine that I've had for years, and I really like pressing down on the lever on the French press. I lay out the beans in the grinder the night before, so that in the morning all I have to do is boil the water and get the beans through the grinder. We will come back to the coffee here in a little bit once the water is ready. Like I said, that will take just a little while. My advice here, even if you're not a coffee drinker, is to have some sort of ritual for yourself in the morning. Tea, coffee, hot chocolate, something to look forward to that can draw you out of bed. I feel like that's uh, really helpful for me, knowing that I'm gonna have coffee soon. Next, I don't know if it's just the desert air that's out here, but I have to have a glass of water when I first wake up. My mouth is usually so dry in the morning, and I think having a big glass of water before I drink any coffee is also a pretty good idea. So a big plus one for water first thing in the morning. I'm sure that there are health benefits. In fact, yeah, I just looked it up. Water is in fact good for you. Stay hydrated. Honestly, I'm just thirsty. I grab a cup of water. I'm trying to listen to my body, like I mentioned, and do things that feel right. Uh, and having a glass of water, just a good way to start the day. Next up is stretching. This is a new one for me. I do go through phases of stretching a lot and then I kind of fall out of the habit and I end up missing it. Um, even if I can't do a workout in the morning, stretching makes such a big difference to the quality of my day. I tend to scrunch up my shoulders and my neck when I'm sleeping. So I wake up with this really tight neck and shoulder muscles. If I can spend just 15 minutes with this band in the morning, stretching out my arms, my legs, feel my body loosen up. My advice is wake up, try to stretch just a little bit. Your body will thank you and your muscles will really feel loose going into the start of the day. I will say I do like to always have a clean space around me. I don't know how to turn off that part of my brain that's always saying, hey, you have to clean up the dishes or the dog toys from the ground before you can move on to the next thing. But when everything is really tidy, I definitely feel clearer in my head. All right, looks like the coffee is almost done. As I mentioned, my coffee routine is a little particular. I use oat milk, the dark blue bottle with the full cream, not that light blue carton of Oatly. You know what I'm talking about. Even though I had to wait for this coffee to be done, I, oh man, it's so much better. I feel like it's a big payoff after I've had that morning. All right, now that I've got my coffee, I like to journal. I know it's become a bit of a cliche these days to journal in the morning, but I have found it really helpful. I try to brain dump everything for the day onto this notebook, and then I also keep a to-do list in Notion, uh, but this notebook does help me keep my thoughts together. It's like the dumping ground. Um, as things pop into my head, I always have my notebook right next to me. It's got lyrics, video ideas, emails I've got to send, uh, recipes that I like, you name it. I put everything into this notebook, and then I try to organize it later when I finally get to my desk. 
For years, my mood in the morning was really awful. I didn't want to wake up and get the day started, and it took me a very long time to realize that I was actually just hungry. <laughs> I was angry, and it was hard to be around me because I hadn't had any food yet. If I'm not eating something before I have my coffee or while I'm drinking coffee, it will send me into an anxiety tailspin. Uh, so although it's not much today, I'm having a banana, some peanut butter, just to get something in my stomach. On other days, I might have toast or oatmeal, but something to just uh, absorb the coffee that's going into my stomach. A next big part of my morning is that I have a rule that I will not consume until I have created. It's so easy to open up social media or my phone when I first wake up and my phone alarm is ringing, but the second I start letting that information into my head when I wake up, I find that it's a little even harder to get into the flow of creating things. So all of my morning routine is really just a big setup for me to be able to put in like 90 minutes or two hours of heads down time when I'm first waking up to do creative work on music or videos that I'm working on. And by focusing Focusing on not consuming anything before I have made something, my mind uh, is clear and open. I would encourage you to try it if you never have. Right now, the weather is super good in Los Angeles. It's just 70 degrees. There's this perfect breeze in the air all day long, so I am desperate to get in some alone time on a walk. I usually am writing or coming up with ideas while I'm out walking. I'll play an instrumental in my headphones, try writing lyrics to it in the notes app, or maybe I'll review mixes and songs that uh, I was sent earlier in the day or in that week, or lately I've been working on scripts for my YouTube channel. All in all, if you're trying to build your own morning routine, try to listen to your body. When do you feel the most creative? What food and water do you need to give yourself fuel in the morning? Have you gotten in some movement? Go easy on yourself and build a routine that's centered around your natural rhythm. Also, take a shower. Your friends will thank you.